Welcome. If you're a current or aspiring strength coach who is exactly where you want to be in the field or you're getting there at the speed of your preference, if you feel equipped to handle whatever problem you face in your job and you don't feel like the job has placed a significant social or financial strain on your life, firstly, congratulations, and secondly, this presentation is not for you. However, if you do feel like you've hit a ceiling or you're struggling to distinguish yourself in climbing the ladder, you're struggling with problems that your degree or professional education didn't prepare you for, and you're feeling the squeeze financially and in your personal life as a coach, please keep watching because this presentation is for you, especially if you work in team sports or you aspire to at levels like the pros and college. So if you've never heard of me, my name is Keir Wenham Flat. I'm a strength and conditioning coach with over 10 years of experience in the field. I've worked at the elite level of sport in five different countries, and I am the founder of Strength Coach Network. So full disclosure, there is a sales pitch at the end of this video. If you don't want to see that sales pitch, you are welcome to skip the end of the video and go enjoy the free stuff elsewhere on Strength Coach Network. Nonetheless, over the next 30 minutes or so, I'm going to make the case to you that strength and conditioning education in its current form is broken and that is a major factor in the difficulties that you are facing right now in your career. And more importantly, we're going to tell you what we're trying to do about it. So here's the thing about coach education. In our opinion, it should serve the coach. If we're truly honest, the vast majority of existing educational materials serve the athlete more than the coach. So get bigger, get stronger, get faster, get more mobile. They're all designed solely with delivering better results to the end user, namely the athlete. And of course, there's going to be some overlap between the interests of the coach and the athletes because when they perform a little bit better, you look a little bit better if the right people notice. But these aren't the problems that strength coaches are losing sleep over at night. The real burning issues for coaches are how to be strategic in getting the job that they want rather than spending years as an intern or eating shit at the bottom of rung of the profession. So they worry about how they're going to earn enough money to live a decent standard, whether they should drive an Uber or do personal training to make ends meet on the side, or how long they could last financially if they got fired tomorrow. And the answer to that question for the vast majority of our field is not very long at all. So to me, Worrying about sets and reps when all of this stuff is going on is like trying to paint the fence during a hurricane. So you have to tackle the big stuff first and serve you as the coach first, then worry about serving the athlete second. So not only should coach education serve the coach, it should solve real world problems. There are several major flaws to traditional strength and conditioning education that simply do not reflect the nature of the problems that we coaches face in the real world or the environments that we have to operate in. So while there's great value to research studies, papers, examining successful programs from within the field, or to search for a more optimal way of how to do things, this just isn't the reality of how sport works. Your job as the coach is to train athletes for months or even years, not a few weeks at a time. You're not trying to push up one key variable, but 20, they all affect one another, often in conflicting ways. So a certain program may work great for you or your favorite coach or team, but you're not them and you don't work with their athletes. So optimal is always changing and blind copy and paste of what is already out there is therefore destined to fail. You're only on the road to success once you develop the judgment to understand the why rather than just the what. So our belief at Strength Coach Network is that current strength and conditioning has become overly simplified because it sells better. It's easier to scale, it's easier to consume, and you don't have to think so hard. You just do the course, collect the CEUs, and come back next year. To be clear, it's not all bad. I'm not being a hater for the sake of it. I personally have stood on the shoulders of many great researchers and educators in my career. But you would be astonished at just how many people who make a living educating coaches have never earned their living as coaches training athletes. And I don't just mean at the highest level possible for a long time, and then these people switch careers for reasons of lifestyle or family or money. I'm talking about ever. They have never coached athletes. So while they may be well-intentioned, 
such educators with these kind of professional backgrounds miss out on the nuance and the practical knowledge and skills that are actually truly required to excel in the world of sport how can you master an environment that you have never inhabited so if you want to learn how to fly a plane you go and learn from an experienced pilot when you want to learn how to run a business you ask the self-made millionaire and when you want to learn how to operate as a strength and conditioning professional at the highest level of sport it behooves you to at least learn in part from those who are currently doing it or who have spent huge chunks of their career doing it. So if you're a coach, think for a moment about the biggest problems that you face as a technician. It's that athletes are going to be getting hurt in the field or on the court and not in the gym. It's that their training doesn't transfer to sprinting, jumping, cutting, hitting on the field or the court and not in the gym. And if athletes are stale and fatigued, it's going to be as a consequence of what they've done on the field or the court, and not in the gym. And at the busiest times of the year, what they do on the field or court is going to represent 90% or more of the total training time of the week, not in the gym. But let's think now for a second about the vast majority of strength and conditioning coach education. It's gym focused. So how much success can you truly drive if you're getting lost in the weeds of that 10% and the other 90% where all the problems come from is just a secondary thought. So traditional education begins getting lost in the discussion and the detail of one exercise over another, details of a certain program, coaching cues, and we probably do it because it feels productive. But it's not until you add that 30,000 foot view the global perspective and the ability to zoom in and out of these modes that you're not going to realize your full coaching potential to influence athletes where it's felt on the field or the court and not in the gym. Sport is inherently unpredictable. By its very nature, you're going to encounter problems every day that you've never dealt with before, especially as you progress through your career and deal with different forms of problems. So specific tools, methods, or ways of doing things may work, but they work because the underlying principles are sound and the integrated systems that they operate within allow for it. Until you take the time to understand the integrated nature of sport and the principles that govern effective sports performance and the development of athletic talent, you are simply a coach with a hammer looking for nails. As soon as the circumstances or environment changes, the methods coach is destined to fail. It's the principles-minded coach that can simply adapt their approach to solve the problem with different tools. And that is the difference between being given a fish and learning how to fish. It's the difference between instructing others in exercise and actually being a coach. One is a lot more costly and time-intensive than the other, but if you really want to be successful and exert the maximum influence on your athletes' careers, you need to take the road less traveled. You need to be a coach. You need to learn how to fish. We also teach students and developing coaches to learn and work in silos, and this is a big mistake. We teach a very reductionist, simplified model of if you do X, Y happens. You don't need to consider the impact of your actions on any other part of the system. But this doesn't reflect the nature of sport or the athletes that we work with. Each individual is an interconnected, complex network of biological systems where all the variables affect one another in unpredictable ways. But we're taught when we come up that the role of the strength coach is just make them bigger, stronger, faster, fitter, and so on. And this approach is damaging because it doesn't take into account the singular nature of the stress response and the fact that the actions of every other athlete stakeholder is going to eat into that limited capacity. So getting your pound of flesh as a practitioner may feel good, but you might actually be hurting your athletes and the performance of the team as a whole if you don't respect the interconnected nature of your work. And this is a huge indictment of a profession where most coaches do not even have a passing understanding of what everyone else's job is, let alone how they do it. So if you can't explain what they do, how can you account for it in your own work and vice versa? So you're probably asking yourself, is, is Keir saying that my degree is bullshit? No, I'm not saying that. There's value to your degree. Uh, if you haven't graduated yet, don't quit. Stick with it. 
Um, there's equally value to a lot of professional accreditations, research, and other traditional education pathways. Um, for example, sports science research, training research, while it doesn't accurately represent the environment that it intends to serve, it does provide insight and direction to coaches about what avenues may offer the most potential return on time, money, and energy. They can also validate the experimentation of more bold coaches who are pushing the envelope. Similarly, no replacement for in-person mentorship and communication, something that COVID has reinforced for the whole world in recent times. Some of the biggest light bulb moments for me in my career have happened during the side conversations or dinners at conferences and seminars. And there's great value in being able to block out the time to learn and think and put yourself in the same room with like-minded individuals. Likewise, you are never going to get to the top of the coaching profession without doing the work on the gym floor and on the field or court. The 10,000 hour rule is probably bullshit, but whatever the number is, nobody ever got worse by doing more and more purposeful practice of what it is they do. The acquisition and refinement of practical coaching skill and the comfort of operating within a sporting organization comes from immersing yourself in these environments. However, this is a huge caveat. There are a lot of terrible coaches out there that chain themselves to the gym, attend every conference, and subscribe to every journal under the sun. And a large number of these coaches also experience career stagnation and financial hardship. The average strength coach has no problem whatsoever with work. So this is not a problem that we can work our way out of. Solving this problem with more work is like pouring water in your face when you're already drowning. Rather, the solution has to be smarter work, coaching practice that more accurately reflects the complex, integrated nature of sport and athletes, and coach education that actually serves coaches rather than the athletes consuming the training. So I kid all the time with my interns that your ratio of solutions offered to complaints made is called when and flats number. And if your number is less than one, you're an oxygen thief and you can't work with me. I also say, don't just complain about the pain of labor, give me the baby, i.e., produce a response to what it is you perceive to be the shortcomings and that is what we're trying to do here so we are delighted to announce the release of strength coach network fundamentals this is the first of a series of long-form courses that we're going to be producing in the coming months and years and each of these 20 hour long courses will be dedicated to the foundational concepts that we feel strength coaches of every level need to be masters of to build long productive and rewarding careers in the profession. So we can't do the work for you, but our hope is in that taking this course, we greatly accelerate and smooth your path to getting what it is that you want. Think of it as a mental upgrade from a hammer to a nail gun. The nails still have to go in, but they'll go that much faster and easier once you've taken the time to invest in the correct tools. Now, despite what some of our competitors may believe, we feel a Strength Coach Network that the purpose of education is to solve real world problems, not just to obtain a piece of paper, collect CEUs or check a box for one's employer. The biggest criticism our members have had of certifying and governing bodies and higher education institutions is that they simply aren't preparing coaches to be able to be productive teammates within high level organizations. So what does the degree or accreditation actually do if it's not this? As a society, we have no problem preparing young dentists or doctors to immediately be productive members of the team at the surgery or hospital when they graduate. But the cliche in strength and conditioning of the average intern only being qualified to do piss tests, protein shakes, and babysit the athletes holds water. The feedback from top level coaches in our network is that a huge amount of time has to be spent each year on intern and staff development to achieve even a rudimentary level of skill and understanding on anything that is not basic powerlifting or Olympic weightlifting. And when you point this fact out to these organizations, that is when the finger pointing begins. The reply is often, well, not everyone wants to be a high level strength coach. It's not on us to tell other people how to structure their curriculums. Uh, we don't have the time or resources to teach coaches about esoteric stuff. Well, at Strength Coach Network, we are happy to fill that gap. So 
rather than work forwards from what it is that lecturers or course tutors think great education should be, we decided to work backwards from the coaches at the very top of the field. We surveyed 60 coaches from the NFL, NBA, English Premier League, Power 5 colleges, professional rugby, and more, and we asked them what knowledge, skills, and qualities they most value in their careers, but they lacked when finishing the degree or certification that they took. We asked what they have to spend the most amount of time on each year to bring their staff up to standard, and we asked what the biggest gaps are in the applied knowledge on offer by the usual suspects of strength and conditioning education. And then we got to work on filling those gaps. The end result is Strength Coach Network Fundamentals. In Strength Coach Network Fundamentals, we asked ourselves, if we could lock a young coach in a room for an intense weekend of learning, what kind of knowledge and ways of thinking would we want them to leave with that would drastically accelerate their professional development for the rest of their career? The result is 20 hours of taught materials with an additional 20 hours of self-directed study and demonstrated learning with a curriculum that spans the gamut from the theoretical to the applied, from broad concepts to specific methods, from you as the individual to the organization that you serve. We're interested in teaching you just as much about how to think as what to do and to provide you with the tools to thrive in whatever stage of your career that you're in. Most courses want to turn you into the McDonald's fry cook. Easy to teach and replicate. Good enough if your standards aren't too high. If you want a simple do this list of things to copy, this is not for you. We want to turn you more into the classically trained chef. Hard to teach, hard to replicate, very high standards. But the food tastes better and people will ultimately pay a lot more for it. So when you sign up for Strength Coach Network Fundamentals, you're gonna get modules on topics including problem solving, decision making, applied testing and statistics, agility, strength, nutrition, financial robustness, sport concepts, annual planning, jumps and plyometrics, hypertrophy and local muscular endurance, mental models, stress physiology, sprinting, power development and conditioning. So we've put together a holistic 360 degree curriculum of coach development. All modules are mixed media in nature, primarily video, but with supporting text and graphics. We provide an extensive supporting reading list of books and freely available papers to provide you with the necessary background and context and to flesh out the concepts being discussed. You'll also get the opportunity to demonstrate your learning at the end of each module by taking a quiz. Be warned, this is not going to be spoon feeding. You will not pass these quizzes just by skimming and guessing. This is exactly the kind of stuff that we are trying to combat. So we purposefully made it so that you have to consume the full module to answer the questions. If there is no thinking, there is no value. We've also included the ability to comment on each module in case you want to provide feedback, ask small questions, or provide input about modules and materials that you want to see from us in the future. Lastly, you'll also receive a certificate of completion, which like every other certificate in this industry, it serves no purpose other than to flex on social media and to give free marketing to the company producing the education. But when you do it with us, it's postmodernist and it's tongue in cheek. The biggest benefit to a course like this is you are getting the answers to the exam. When dozens of elite level coaches are telling you this is the stuff that we want from our interns, GAs, assistants, we've done the hard work of researching and filtering for you. Now it's just on you to put in the time and the work. And when you have, you'll be that much further ahead of your peers who are either still figuring it out or just plowing ahead without addressing gaps in their development. So the Strength Coach Network Fundamentals seeks to address the four Ps of career development. Pay, that is to equip yourself with the financial tools to earn your worth and be secure in your standard of living. Personal, to build more efficient processes into your work free up more time to be a human being and spend time with your loved ones rather than your co-workers progression to develop the necessary professional skills and knowledge to achieve your ultimate career goal and purpose that is to belong to something bigger than oneself and feel a sense of mission in your work now quite honestly this one is on you but if you've made it this far you probably have it 
we want to provide you with the kind of information and mental tools to become a true high performance practitioner. That is to influence every aspect of your program by collaborating with other key athlete stakeholders, be that dietitians, sport coaches, medical staff. And in doing so, you'll become the indispensable hub that all the information and decision making passes through. And that is a role that is going to make you easier to promote and pay well and much, much harder to fire. So we're delighted to bring together a distinguished list of presenters who are extremely high level performers in their respective areas. Our main criteria for selecting presenters was skin in the game. So if you do not make your living getting results in the real world with clients or athletes, you could not contribute to this course. So we have Dr. Brian Mann, professor at the University of Miami, elite level powerlifter, author, two decades of NCAA Division I coaching experience. Nick DeMarco, current director of strength and conditioning at Elon University, former free agent with the Baltimore Ravens and PhD candidate. Stefan Jones, who is the director of sport performance at Wellington School in the UK. He is the founder of Pace Lab, a former dual professional athlete and a consultant to elite level cricket and baseball organizations. Jake Tura is the founder of Jacked Athlete and a former strength and conditioning coach at Youngstown State University. Cameron Joss is a current athletic performance coach with Indiana University Football, who, as of the time of recording, is a top 12 program ranked in the USA. He is a former staff member at both Onnit and Franco's Training. Dominic Matteo is a staff member at Precision Nutrition, and he is a full-time nutritional consultant and educator to both athletes and the general population alike. Alan Giese is the founder of North Star Planning. He has over 30 years of experience as a wealth manager and independent financial advisor with several hundred million dollars under management. And lastly, we have some guy named Rugby Strength Coach. So decades of elite level experience across a wide variety of sports and disciplines, pairing both theoretical with the practical and most importantly, these people get fired if they do shitty work or they give shitty advice, which is the definition of skin in the game. And uh, not to throw too much shade at governing bodies, but when they give shitty advice, it's just a case of, okay, see you at next year's conference if you want those CEUs. So I hope that by getting this far in the video, you want to take this course, but we want to make sure that this course is right for you. So we want to be completely upfront about who this course is not for. Firstly, if you are looking for cheap education to spend the minimum amount possible, we're not for you. You can have good, you can have cheap, and you can have fast, and you only get to pick two. So our intent is these are going to be good, fast results. You're going to learn a whole lot in a short space of time from some very accomplished practitioners, and you're going to join an exclusive network of strength and conditioning professionals who want to change how things are done. Not to mention, our goal is to bring you many times the value of this course over the duration of your career. And if it doesn't save you at least the entry price in terms of misnegotiated contracts, messed up financial planning or professional missteps, you can email me and I'll send you my address so you can come over to my house and uh, slap me in person. Uh, truly, we believe this is going to pay for itself many, many times over. Second, you just want to get your CEUs and keep your accreditation. There are going to be quicker, cheaper, easier ways to get it done, and we believe there is a fundamental conflict of interest between education and accreditation. And you certainly can't criticize key players in the industry like we're doing when relying on them to increase your sales appeal. Uh, to steal a phrase from Charlie Munger, whose bread I eat, whose song I sing. If you want to train regular people and just be a good uh, general population trainer, we're probably not for you. You can get a ton of value from business courses and resources, general training resources on strength, hypertrophy, power, nutrition, and so on. Our course is designed specifically for strength and conditioning coaches who want to work with athletes, either in the private sector or the school, college, professional sector. If you work with a team, field, or court athletes, even better. We are for you. If you want a simple recipe or a to-do list, we're not for you. This is going to be hard, but the juice is worth the squeeze. If it was easy, everyone else would be doing it. We estimate two to three hours per module to consume the materials, do the reading, 
take the quizzes and do any additional note taking. So assuming you do an hour of study per day, which most people don't, and you take the weekends off, this course is going to take anywhere from six to 10 weeks to complete, which is no mean feat. So as I've hopefully outlined to you over the course of this video, this course is not intended to be like all the rest. Like most of the good things in life, we are going to sacrifice for the short term reward now for a bigger reward in the long term. So you're not going to get a plug and play program with a list of exercises that you can show on Instagram. Uh, what you are going to get is a framework and a way of thinking that if you spend the time and do the work will serve you for the rest of your career. The same is true financially. We are more expensive than the rest, but our intent and belief is that you'll return many times the value of this course to you over the course of your career. When you're able to distinguish yourself from the competition and land bigger jobs sooner, negotiate from financially stronger positions, that is the real return on investment that we're seeking. Successful and financially productive careers are not built on methods. They are built on principles. Learning a way of tweaking a PNF or being the best Olympic guy or girl is not going to get you hired or win you championships. And of course, I'm biased, but even if our competitors and other companies offering strength and conditioning education were offering the same types of materials or information, I sincerely doubt the network is as strong as ours. I would put up our presenters and our, our members against theirs any day of the week. We have tried to recruit the smartest, highest achieving coaches that we know with the most amount of skin in the game. So I sincerely doubt you can find better elsewhere, but even if you can, you are probably going to have to cherry pick from a variety of different sources at a much higher cost of time and money. So we've done the filtering for you, and now it's all here for you in an easy to consume format at a much lower price than you'd be able to organize by yourself. So by now, hopefully you're salivating money in hand. Here, take my money, tell me how much the course is. The answer to that is that the entry to the course is priced at in US dollars, $499.99. This is premium education, so we've priced it accordingly, but as an investment that's gonna return many times that to you over the course of your long career, it should be a relatively easy decision to make. If you really can't afford the $500, please don't spend your money here and break the bank. You have the problem that you need to fix first, which is that you don't have 500 in disposable income. Likewise, if you don't think you're going to be around long enough to return the investment of this course over a couple of years or longer, this field is not for you and you should not spend your money here. But if you are committed to this field and you are looking to significantly improve your work and career prospects as a coach over a long period of time, this course is for you. Now for comparison, if you want to take the most basic level of exercise physiology at Stanford online, you're going to pay $1,500 for six hours of talk content. So about $250 per hour. Uh, if you take the online master's degree in strength and conditioning from Liberty University, it's going to set you back over $15,000. Uh, it's roughly 10 courses or 10 modules, so about $1,500 per course. Not only are these courses several times higher than what we're offering with Strength Coach Network Fundamentals, you have no guarantee when you sign up that the content is going to be taught by top level pros who are telling you exactly what high level organizations are calling out for. So we are offering more quality, more content at a lower price than existing offerings in the marketplace. Furthermore, when you sign up for Strength Coach Network Fundamentals, you're going to get discounts to all Strength Coach Network memberships if you're not already a member in addition to discounted pricing on all subsequent levels of this course and other sport specific courses that we're going to release in the future. So I hope that by now you're as convinced as we are at Strength Coach Network about the real need for a change in the way that we think, educate and operate as coaches within the field of strength and conditioning. But more importantly, you want to do something about it. If you're ready to get started, and you want to get your hands on our most in-depth offering to date and to help us on our mission to change the face of strength and conditioning education, click on the link below and we'll see you inside.